Graduate Diploma in Corporate Governance, it's been running now for 15 years, so it's extremely well established. There's over 400 alumni uh, out of the programme. It's aimed at people who are either holding governance roles or uh, expect to hold governance roles. So part of the strength of the programme is the diversity of people who take, undertake it. So a couple of years ago we had a paediatric uh, cardiologist, for example. Last year we had somebody who's an Irish ambassador to a very exotic com country. So it's quite a diverse mix of people uh, in the programme and that's its strength because a unique feature of executive education is the peer-to-peer -peer learning. So participants learn from the lecturers, of course, but they also learn from each other. And having very diverse uh, group of students in a class enhances that peer-to-peer -peer learning. It's also aimed at people, executives in organisations who hold governance roles like company secretary, legal counsel, general counsel, um, internal audit. You know, there's lots of different uh, positions in organisations that have a governance relevance and the programme would be very suitable to those people as well. We cover all of the main elements of corporate governance, um, modelled mainly on the UK Corporate Governance Code which is uh, targeted at listed companies and obviously if you're involved in a company that isn't listed then that standard of governance which we think is the best practice has to be customised to your particular context. Corporate governance is a regulated area so there are laws around corporate governance. There's also codes of best practice. I mentioned one earlier, the UK Corporate Governance Code. Um, so obviously we share uh, the knowledge around the regulations with participants, but um, there's another uh, arguably more challenging aspect of corporate governance, and that's the whole human behavioural side of things, the uh, dynamics around a boardroom table, the dynamics between the board and management, um, psychological issues, behavioural issues, um, so we cover those as well and, and those are really, really interesting. And when things go wrong, it's very often around behavioural, psychological, dynamic issues as opposed to the rules and regulations. If you're on a board of directors, or if you're aspiring to be on a board of directors, um, the holding of the qualification uh, makes you more attractive to a prospective board because uh, the fact that you have that qualification suggests that you have some expertise and knowledge of corporate governance. And then also it should help you in enacting the role. It should help you to be a good uh, company director by having done a lot of the, we'll say, book learning and peer-to-peer exchange uh, in the class. So in theory you should be a better uh, company director. I've had students on the program who are very, very experienced company directors. I've had some who are professional company directors, that's their entire career. All they do is hold company directorships. And at the end of the program, I've always been really pleased with those students who come along and say, you know, Neve, I never really expected to learn that much. I was just doing the program for the qualification and I'm really surprised at how much I've learned. And it would be a disappointment to me if they didn't learn. And I think the way we approach the program with a mix of exposing students to academic material and then also having the very practical, hands-on approach, I think that mix works very well.